a lot of theological doctrines focus on the control mm -hmm. of love. Mm -hmm. Well, it's a disruptive force, you know, because, for example, if you make a medium to long term relationship with someone and you negotiate that, that provides you with a stable structure that can operate across your entire life. It's good for you. It's good for them. It's good for your kids. Mm. It's good for society. But then if you're really attracted to someone momentarily, you can be driven to act on that and, and, and every all the rest of that can burn up. It's not good. And so it's no wonder that it's viewed as a, a force of a tremendous disruption. Now, it's also a force of tremendous life, right? Because you want to be attracted to people. You want to have that 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 vital libido yes. as part of, of part of what's driving you forward. But hopefully it's on your side and not working against you. And so, you know, if you're successful and you've put yourself together and you're disciplined, you should still be maximally sexually attractive, but it should be under your control. 